And so, Lord, as we humble ourselves before you, we pray that we would never lose the amazement, the wonder of what it is that you have done for us uh, on that cross. Please, Lord, let us never take it for granted. Please, Lord. Lord, that we can never forget the extent of the, the price that you paid so that we could be sons and daughters of the living God. And we come before you this morning with our hearts and lives that are so grateful for, for your reaching out to us, for your loving us while we were still resisting you, for your drawing us to yourself. And Lord, there are so many wonderful words that we use and they, they, they trip off our tongues so easily. Words like love and forgiveness and mercy and grace. And, 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 and we ask that you would take each of those truths and embed them in us again and that we would be in awe of you, our loving, forgiving, merciful, gracious God. But this morning, would you just receive our praise as one who is worthy of praise? Not only our loving Father who has done so much for us, but also the Almighty God, the Creator of the universe. We come to bow before you. We have every reason, Lord, to, to feel blessed in so many ways. And so we come to, to honor you this morning, our living Lord, our loving God. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His home. hymns tonight. My favourite hymn writer was Charles Wesley. In his very last hymn he wrote, age 81 on his deathbed, it says this. In age and feebleness extreme, who shall a helpless worm redeem? Jesus, my only hope thou art, strength of my failing flesh and heart. Oh, could I catch one smile from thee and drop into eternity? Does anyone feel that unshakable hope and love for Jesus Christ in this place tonight? Yes, on that day when my strength is failing, the 
hand draws me And my time has come Oh Jesus, still my soul Sing your praise God, I will. 